Hello man, it is the 23rd of April. Right, so as you read by the title of this vlog, that is what I'm going to talk about, seeing as I have my driving test tomorrow. Um, and it could either maybe make or break, I could pass it, I may fail it, hopefully I pass it. Um, but yeah, um, really big. Um, yeah, but university is obviously on the near horizon as well. And you asked me what my whole general gist of it is. Um, can't remember exactly what you asked, but what's my honest opinion of it? Um, well, I'm going because I want to get a qualification and feel like an actual degree rather than just a college N NVQ. I want to get an actual BA ONS, um, so I'm more likely to get a job in film, um, which, you know, I'm keeping open to the possibility I want to get a job in film. Um, Two, um, what is my opinion of people who should go there? I think you should go there if you uh, want to get a job in film. Um, well, you probably better off getting an apprenticeship, but the chances of you getting an apprenticeship are really low. So, yeah, instead, you know, um, uh, get a university qualification so you can go into a uh, pretty much a level of an apprentice's job, but with, you know, more experience. Um, uh, being away um, from Reading, being in Winchester, that, um, well, it's not really that away, is it? Because it's only a half hour train ride. <laughs> um, but, nah, it's going to be, it's going to be good. I, I like Winchester, the city, and it won't be that bad to um, uh, be there for three years. And um, what do I think of the course at Winchester? It's really good. So, yeah, overall, um, I've got really good feelings about Winchester in about the next three years. And seeing as I've got an unconditional offer, I don't really need to um, worry too much about my place. Um, so, yeah, and for you, Matt, um, recommendations for uni, I'd say go. Or get an apprenticeship. If you get an apprenticeship, then fair enough. Well, as you saw by the title of the vlog, it's going to be five things I hate about driving. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I just want to get off my chest. Um, but, yeah, my question to you, not really so much a question to you, Matt, but it is an actual um, video, video idea um, for you in your next vlog, which is my question this week. I want you to make a video five things that annoy you like in general five things that annoy you uh, could that be your wednesday vlog or at least put that in your wednesday vlog five things that annoy you but it'll just allow me to vent off some frustration before i get into my test and it'll probably be the things that i'm most afraid will happen in my test for tomorrow so let's get started with number one hill starts now um you may sort of um, think when cars are on hills that they make it look so easy. And to be honest, I got much better at them. Uh, but that's probably to do with a car I'm driving, which is a Ford Fiesta, which handles them really well. The handbrake's really loose and um, it um, got good grip. And you see, I got the controls of it down. So I'm probably fine with the hill starts tomorrow. It's just, however, in the... Um, Vauxhall Corsa that I'm likely to drive after the test of a parent's own, the handbrake is much, much freaking heavier and like it just doesn't move down. So I will only do hill, I can only really do hill starts right now from a stationary position in the middle of the, well obviously every hill starts got to be from a um, stationary position, but on like a very quiet road which is about that steepness. Um, so that steepness, which I'm not sure about yet, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, hill starts, something that annoys me. Something related to hill starts. Number two, why the bloody hell did they build Caversham on a hill? And not just Caversham, I mean like most places. You don't see many places which just have flat roads. Every single place has got slopes, hills, all that nonsense. Now they're not too bad going down, 
Um, however, what comes down must come up and go and up. You need to be in the right gear, you need to have the right speed, you need to have the right acceleration to go up. If you stop, you need to do a hill start, which as I said before, I'm very good. Um, you, yeah, it's a bit crap how most cities were built on hills and oh my god, that's something I'm not looking forward to about Winchester. The whole city, especially university, is built on a massive slant like that. You've got a building there and then the floor above comes out there, so the roads are like that. It's like, oh yeah, I do not like how they build so many cities on hills. They have to build roads on them and it's just, oh, it sucks. Moving away from hills and to more on the road matters, I know I may get a bit of hate for saying this, but thing number three I hate about driving is cyclists. Now if you cycle on the road, okay, um, fair enough, I mean, I much rather you cycle on the road than the pavement, however, when I'm walking on the pavement, I'd rather be on the road. When I'm on the road, I'd rather you be on the pavement. So I can't win. The only way I will win is if no one gets on their bikes. Because um, they go slow. You need to drop down your speed all the way. Two, you have to swerve around them in a very short amount of time. Which you'll need to build up a lot of speed and low gear, which isn't a good idea. And you may still, they may be going at constant speed. You may come up, wham. And there may be cars coming from the other side, so you've got to stay there for ages, especially on a country road, uh, where you've got to pretty much stay on them for the entire stretch of the speed limit for some places. Um, they are annoying. And on the pavement. Uh, um, that is a thing that annoys me in general. Cyclists on the pavement, because one, it's illegal, um, but no one ever seems to notice that. Um, yeah, one, it's illegal. Two, um, a few months ago, um, I was standing still on the road near the bus stop at college, and there was a cyclist going pretty slowly, I might add, but didn't help the fact that I was standing there. I moved out of the way. He moved exactly in the way that I was, and he went onto my leg. Didn't do anything. I didn't trip over. He didn't fall off, but it was annoying how he went into me. And, yeah, he shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have been there. Back onto driving. Thing number four is idiotic road users who overtake learners. Just because they're going slow, and just because you think you're confident, doesn't mean you can go in front of them at any time. They need space, because they know, they're learning that enough more space gives you more safety. If you go in front of that space and give them less space, they're more likely to crash, you idiots. And thing number five I hate about driving is getting out of some places, especially the area that I live, is tricky to say the least. Now what I mean by that, as well as a load of other places, like for instance where I live, there's um, um, you know where the Tesco in West Reading is, around that area, and I'm certain there's a couple of others in Reading alone. Um, there are places where there's maybe three or four routes out, like especially where I am, there's three or four routes out. However, one of them um, goes to a really hard to see roundabout at the end of it, and during an industrial estate, which is always clogged up with like fans unloading. To the other route, which is the main one, you need to wait for a red light, yeah? and it's a pedestrian controlled red light, so you, you can't just wait for it to go green on your end, you need to wait for it to go red on their end, which you know, on some cases has taken as much as four minutes to happen, well, okay, two minutes to happen. And then the other routes have got width restrictions. Now, actually, can that be thing six? Width restrictions. You are so nervous when coming up to them, well, I don't, I, because I'm still sort of new to this, you're so nervous coming up to them, you've got six foot six of room, and then you're just driving so slowly, making sure no part of your car scratches against it. It's so annoying, and there's so many places like that. On Oxford Road, I think it's, um, there's a, oh no, it's Norcott Road, it's the other one. Um, there's a mini roundabout, and then there's bus lanes on either side, and then the width cuts down like for no reason with the bus lanes it is so stupid and yeah what would getting out of some places it's just so difficult getting onto a main road is the most difficult thing when you're driving and when you're on them it's fine but when you're getting on them it's so difficult Ugh. right so this video has sort of been inspired by gray day under a i've been watching his videos all day um, for no reason at all, I've just been bored and I've watched the video, so I wanted to have a little bit of an angry top five, not as good as him though. 
Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the vlog, Matt, and I will see you on Wednesday.